smashed by everybody. I see. Last, last uh, couple of episodes ago, we had a young lady. A young lady. <laughs> I better say young because she probably beat me up. Young lady. <laughs> um, we, had, we had a... Uh, black belt grandma. Grand black, I think black I saw that video. Girl. And <laughs> she just gives him a nut shot. That, that Twice. Is, Twice? Oh, yeah. It was... <laughs> it was I a, work up. Yeah. I work up. That day. You do not go train with somebody in Kadri Kempo without wearing a cup. I oh, swear okay. you do right. not. Without a cup, you're... Oh. Yeah, you don't go because you're, you're at your own peril. Yeah, the first point. 13 like moves are to the nuts or something oh, like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. it's brutal. Yeah. And she did it perfectly. She would have kicked his leg open to go this. And she went, wham, right into his nuts. And then she just sat back like, ha! Ah. And she struck that Action pose. pose yeah. yeah. I was like... <laughs> Holy cow, I'm like, yeah. If you listen carefully, you hear my daughter, Daddy, are you okay? In the background. Oh, dang. Like the most professional nut shot ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I mean, it was all shin. I mean, you see oh, her yeah. feet oh. at the other side, and it was just, I mean, it was just solid. It was a direct Bam. shot, yeah. Wow. Yeah, go watch that again. It's Very hilarious. Brave. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. I was going to do a slow mo and repeat a couple <laughs> times, but then I thought that would have been too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been a bit crazy. But that would have been cool. I, I still want to do like a, a reel of. Me just hitting mats and getting, getting tossed. Getting tossed. <laughs> so I've been tossed so by. I have a, I have an interesting question because in my family, like I said, my niece wrestled, mm -hmm. and my nephew is now CHP. Mm -hmm. uh, he was wrestling also, and I remember, you know, they would always tell me the stuff that they had to do, and a lot of it was just pressing your body weight on top of whoever you're on top of, mm -hmm. and trying to learn to. Make yourself heavy, I guess. Yep. To keep yourself there without yep. being tossed around. Right. I mean, that doesn't seem like because if you're 100 pounds, you're 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. But they're saying by the way you lean, the way you on your toes and whatever else. Yeah. That that weight changes. Right. How is that possible? Thank you. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You because are fired. It doesn't seem like that. That would be even possible. To change your weight that way. So I mean, it, that's where the technique kind of comes in, right? right? So let's say like if I just lay on top of you, my weight isn't really that, that gonna like be that heavy. But if you like focus all your weight onto one spot, then imagine like let's say I put all my pressure on the back of your neck, right? right. Then it's like 100 pounds on your neck. It's gonna feel a lot different than just okay, 100 so pounds. Okay, so you're directing. Out. So it's yeah. kind of like the way Yoda, my dog, will do a, a, a dead weight when he doesn't want to take a bath. He'll just. Oh, know. it is hilarious to watch. Oh really? Because his oh, wife yeah. is like. Four foot eleven, yeah, yeah. and here she's dragging this dog that's just oh yeah. lifeless. <laughs> he just, he doesn't want to, no, it's even, it's even more back. intense than that because imagine you put someone in the most uncomfortable position that they're that they and all in, that weight is and what? then all the weight's on top. Right here, you try later. Yeah, later. later. Okay, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, do we'll, a demonstration. We'll show, show yeah. Yeah. I just want to see. If it's real. I was just what I was doing with Vaughn yeah. the other day. No, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. Yeah, just kind of like you know get her to put the weight correctly. Yeah, it's because I was doing jujitsu and in jujitsu like you have people like you know people of all different sizes and you can still kind of roll even though the size difference is so big. Right. Yeah. So I'll have a guy that's like 200 pounds and just sitting on me, right? But it doesn't feel that heavy because all his weight is evenly distributed on Okay. Me. Versus like I have someone who's probably my size and they know exactly where to pinpoint the weight and you're like, shoot, I really can't move or like, you know, you're really like caught that's in a certain crazy. position. And then it's like, huh. it's a lot harder mostly because they know how to use their body rather than just sit right. on you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to check that mic real quick just in case? I want to make sure, yeah, because yeah. you just <laughs> yeah. destroyed it. And it gives us a break on that guy's bag. Yeah. And you'll say it's fine. Three, two, oh. uh. 78, 94, one. <laughs> okay, the sound is good. Okay, right. good. So good. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. I got excited because you know it, you just gave crap to somebody for tapping on the table and you're gonna slam it. I know. I know. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So as as we were saying though, you know, it's like I've always found it fascinating to be able to change your weight like that. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that there's a totally a real technique yeah, huh? to get that to work. Right. That's, right. That's, tell me about that. So basically, it's just like, you know, having 100 pounds, like even in Jiu Jitsu, like people, 200 pounds will just like sit on me, right? They think like, oh, I'm a big guy, so I can hold her down. But it's like 200 pounds and you're not really directing your weight anywhere. Like, you know, I can just easily push 200 pounds or whatever. Like, no, with my legs and my hands combined. <laughs> okay, because right? I'm like, I was say with those arms. Maybe not with my yeah, arms. Yeah, She's pressing the guy. I bench press 400. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you use She's your like, body I to tried do it, it once. it's not a big deal. 
Yeah. Really? But, you know, if you have someone that's putting pressure on like a specific part of your body, uh -huh. then all the, and then they tie you up in a certain position, then it's a lot harder to escape, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, we're gonna look at that in a little while, folks. Yeah. So is is it is it about being just nimble and, and directing your weight, uh, or it, uh, what's? It depends. So when like if you're on if there's three different positions in wrestling, right? Okay. So you have standing, uh -huh. and you have the person when, when you're on top of someone, or when you're behind on bottom when you're below someone. So when you're on standing, like obviously your weight isn't like a super big factor in terms of pressure. Maybe okay. when you're like you know head to head and you're like pushing, then your weight and heavy hands, your weight matters a little bit. But when you and then you move a certain way, right? Like you want to be fast, you want to be swift, cut angles, move around. Fast. Okay. But then once you're on top, you don't want to be fast because then you'll be sliding over the person, right? So that's <laughs> that's when you need to be like change your the way you move a little bit and just uh -huh. kind of slow down and just focus on being really heavy. It's only pressure. Okay. Pressure and technique. So you you almost take off the. Um the distribution of weight on your entire foot and you focus what on like the, the yeah, balls, most, the toes? Yeah, mostly on your toes and you're pressuring in with your shoulder uh, or okay. your back or you're putting pressure with your forearms on the back of the neck, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey folks, the, the noise that you're hearing in the background, we are at, at, we are at the Physique gym. Yeah. We are at the gym, Physique Magnifique, so come on down and, and uh, hit a speed bag, speed, like that hit, guy. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not going to tell him not to because he's bigger than I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just scared, a little. <laughs> they won't let me use my stuff here. <laughs> no, well, we forgot to bring sticks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a knife. <clears throat> now, in your journey through all this, because here it is, you're doing the wrestling, mm -hmm. you're teaching a bunch of kids, you're doing it for 10, years, 10 plus years, and then you get to a point where you say, okay, I, I need to actually work, do this as a job and make some money. Oh, I didn't or? come that way. How, really? Well, that's why. I mean, yeah. I'm trying how to figure out, they... how did you get to where you are now? So I told you how there aren't like a lot of women wrestlers right. yeah. in, the, in the field anyway. And so it's like, well, if you have young women wrestlers coming up, who's going to train these people? Right. Right. So it's like, well, there's not, like, I'm one of the few that are still kind of in the scene. And so they're like, hey, I, you know, can you train my daughter? Can you train her to do this? Or so they reach out to you. Yeah, they find me because I'm around, right? I'm in different high schools right. and they see me and they're like, oh, yeah, I remember about you back when you wrestled or like, you know, I've seen you at this wow. gym and you're really good. Can you help train my daughter? To, you know. So word of mouth, that that's how you started with... Yeah, pretty much. Really? Or I would just show up at the gym, and then like, other people would show up at the gym, and then like the fathers or the mothers would be like, hey, look at that girl, like she's really good, you know? And, like, and they asked the other gym members about me, and then they find out like, oh, like she she used to be like state champion, or this and that, and so they get were really Were you excited. really? You were state yeah. champion? Yeah, I was. How do you skip over that part through yeah. your yeah. years? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just some kid yeah. who just had this you know, crazy... Yeah, you know, I just wrestled, they dropped 30 pounds. This crazy like, obsession with wrestling. Oh, there was a reason. Yeah. You know, I studied more. I didn't really get very far except state champion. But, you know, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, like, glossing right over. Yeah, like, didn't even, didn't bring even it up. mention it. Yeah, I do See, that a lot. You I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to intimidate people. So. You are not going to intimidate our guys. Our guys are a bunch of... Oh, yeah. These are all hard asses. Sorry, yeah. guys. We love you, but... You guys are. Yeah. <laughs> They're all a bunch of martial artists. They've yeah. been doing it for years. But, you know, and, and, our, and our viewers are, are very, very, they love hearing these stories because yeah. to them, you know, obviously you're not doing the same martial arts that we are. No. Mm -hmm. But it's still a martial art. You know, in, in a sense that you could use this to hurt somebody mm -hmm. out on the street. Right, right. Um, but they respect the training and stuff that goes behind it because mm -hmm. it's very much like what we do. We it's still have to yeah. learn the techniques, learn the moves, and yeah. learn the, you know. Discipline. Discipline. All those things are involved. And that's why we like bringing in different groups in here like bodybuilders, nutritionists. Uh, oh, you know. so if you guys need a wrestling coach for your daughters, yeah. <laughs> Kelly Kusumoto. Well, hey, let's do that. Let's do a shameless plug. <laughs> How how can they reach you if they yeah. wanna if they wanna Oh so I have a website www.dev.com <laughs> There's blah, too many blah. W's. How many blahs? Blah. So anyway, <laughs> no, all, all three W's and then just in clash.com. So clash with a K, no space. Uh, and then you can go to my website. You can see all my merch. And then, oh, um, I get it. Yeah. Then you can find my email address on there. And, merch. Yeah. Good. Also, um, That's a great segue. I in like that. Clash. Yeah. 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 And also just Instagram too, Facebook. Just in clash, one word. Clash with a K. Just, just in clash, clash with yeah. a K, yeah. yeah just in clash. So what is that signal? Just in clash? Yeah, just in clash. Clashing of two bodies? No, I know, but then... Just yeah. in class. Well, so just in class should be like, you know, in the future. Like, I'm, like, I'm getting ready to train. Oh, ready just in case. Yeah. Got it, got or it. Or uh, also from a little bit of nostalgia, like distant past, like distant class. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a lot more cerebral than you would have thought. Yeah, I was yeah, like, I put a lot of thought into the name. No, it's awesome. No, she's an artiste. Yes, she <laughs> is. So let, let's now let's talk about your merch because I found that to be really cool. He sent me the link to your thing, and yeah. I'm like, oh, these are pretty sweet. You know, like, those are all your designs. Yes, everything that's in there. Yep. Sweaters, shirts. Wait, pants? No, not no pants. It's mostly just uh, shirts. Hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and like a lot of accessories like stickers, patches, pins. No coffee mugs. No. Coffee not, yet. not yet. There's a machine that I'm trying to I'm trying to work up to. It's a um, it's a heat press. Oh okay. And it does shirts, hats, and, and cups. Yeah, I, I most of the merch I make myself just because there's really? like so many different variations. Right. Oh wow. Like you know, someone wants it in a kid's small black color, right? I right. got like three different colors, like seven different sizes. It's, it's easier to make it print on demand. Mm. Wow. Where, where do you order your shirts from? Uh, so I have like I go to SS Active. Yeah, I have a vendor. I order blank shirts and uh -huh. then I just you know order transfers and I just make the shirts myself. Oh, so that's wow. what, I mean, like I said, I'm looking to get one of those machines because it does the, the shirts, the hats, and want to just go in business with her. Uh, hey, I mean, <laughs> that, that might be cheaper. <laughs> yeah, because she's already got the equipment. Yeah. I'm just leeching. <laughs> Let me leech out for her. Because <laughs> that'd be cool. Because I haven't seen many stickers like that that have a uh, like FMA stuff. Yeah. Oh, definitely. That'd yeah. be awesome. Well, that, that's why we get her to do all the designs, Ooh, give her a percentage for the stick fighting yeah. tournaments, and then we just sell the stuff there. Yeah. Ooh. Then we'll get you on a. Hey well, guys, I don't listen to, to any of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to I used to sell a lot of stuff at tournaments, but with the whole COVID thing, all the tournaments are basically. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. now it's yeah. like okay, learn how to do online sales. So that's been like my challenge for this there's past a, year. There's a there's a a girl that I was uh, directed towards. Her name is Anne. Um, can't pronounce the last name because it's Asian. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no offense, I just can't. You do sound uh, like a white guy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. But um, what she Sorry. does is she gets with entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and teaches them the business and how to be how to sell the stuff. And um, I'm gonna send you that link. I'm, okay. I'm gonna give it to you because uh, they did a, a podcast with uh, some guy who does. Uh, what, what they do is they, they they teach you how to do influentials, you know, influence. Mm, in, influential marketing yeah that kind of stuff yeah. and it shoots it around to all the different groups and, and then right. people just come in but what they do is they, they cater to your needs and to your niche of stuff that you're selling mm. and to the people that you're selling to I mean it's, a, it's an incredible thing and, and I was getting ready to do all that stuff mm -hmm. but I wanted to make sure that you know for the college conversation stuff that we're doing okay. get more viewers and whatever else and they yeah. just I mean they're incredible uh, it, it's, there's two of them one used to work for Google, okay. and the other did another for another tech company. Oh, all right. And that's why, you know, so they know their stuff. They know right. how things should work or whatever else. Mm -hmm. But really impressive. So mm -hmm. I'm doing that as a, a freebie or something, and mm -hmm. you guys got to pay me back. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> Kindness of your well, heart. Because I'm getting ready to get in contact with us. I was like, oh, watch our show. <laughs> so you're plugging her now? So you, okay. Yeah. yeah. Be shameless. Be shameless. Yeah, you have to be. You have to be. This well, yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, in this month, yeah, yeah especially with what you're trying to do, because if you don't, nobody comes. Right, right. I used to. I'm like not really having. I don't really have any business skills. That's not what right. I'm trained in. So for me, like you know, promoting my stuff and like say, you know, saying, oh, this is who I am. This is what I do. Like it's very hard for me to like right. you know, do that. So it's just. But I realize, like you know, if you ask, for, if you want attention, and you just ask for it. People will come. Like yeah. especially the stuff which sells itself. You know, I don't uh -huh. really have to work too hard. I just have to keep making more things and share it with more people. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, and then Distant Clash. Yeah. Okay, distantclash.com. Yeah. That's, that's the, okay, that's where they get a hold of you. Distant? Distant. Yes, distant. Yeah. I thought it was just in. Just in. <laughs> that's what I was hearing all this time. Was Me just too. In class, right? You uh, too? too? That's why I had to read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's Distant, big. Distant Clash. Got it. Because <laughs> we were saying it terribly wrong. Oh, terribly, like, terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Because yeah. I'm hearing just in case. Oh, just, Whoa, right, just right. in class. That's, oh, just no. in class. That's, that's what I heard too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay so that's what I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm like, am I just being an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it's distant, distant, distant. Okay, see now that makes more sense. Distant right, right. Clash. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Okay. Now I'm now I'm with you. Okay. www.distantclash with a K dot com. Yes. Ta-da! Yay! Now we'll get people knocking on your door. We got it right. Guy. Not some other guy. <laughs> that Justin guy is gonna be doing really well. I know Justin yeah. Clash. Like, oh, I didn't I'm know good. it was advertising. <laughs> 
We better see some profits off that one. Okay. What, where do you see yourself down the road? Yeah, because what do you, you got to do? You've got to have a goal because you, you yeah. seem very goal oriented. Um, you know, I've been doing, working a lot on like self improvement stuff because it's been sort of a journey being like with my mom and training really hard and kind of just like going where people tell me to go. And then now all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's on me to kind of figure out where I want to go. Good and for you. So it's been like, well, like, do I really want to continue this? Because it's a lot of work, especially if you don't have any marketing skills. Right. Like, it's like even harder to know where to get started. So mm. it's been like, okay, I think I think I want to keep going with this. And um, I recently got a job at a warehouse, which you know seems like a little bit of a downgrade from what I was doing before. But I'm learning a lot about like how to manage inventory and how to like, you know how to sell things, like you know schedule, sell. And, you know, I realize it's not like super hard. It's just a lot of things you have to like be careful of, like the numbers and stuff right. like that. So you know my. Uh, my nephew Paul uh, and my other nephew Robert, mm -hmm. they they do what you're talking about, where they try to sell stuff, and they and they they've turned into a company that they have shirts and things, right? Mm. And what they do is they get an order. Oh, I would like two shirts. They call that company and say, print out two shirts, send it to this guy. Yeah. And that's how they're doing it. Yeah, it's print on demand. <laughs> yeah, rather than having it a storeroom full of stuff and. Merchandise just sits in your closet. Yeah. Gets moldy after. I tried that, but yeah. I just really wasn't a fan of the quality. So mm. for, for a lot of my stuff, like wrestlers are used to just getting like these really cheap gym shirts and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't want to. I want to have these shirts that people can wear outside. You Connected know. To material. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. Not, I was like, uh, well, and that is pretty sturdy though. Yeah. So oh it's, wow, that's it's a lot not... better than what I'm wearing. <laughs> you can tell the difference. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's thick. So it's people, thick you know, they can wear this out in public, and people will be like, "Oh, what's that? Like, oh, it's wrestling. Oh, oh man. that's really cool. Man. Oh yeah. Because this is the too. other one. Yeah. This is the hoodie. All the other designs. So. Oh look, distant clash. Now yeah, I get now it. You can, now you can see how it's spelled. <laughs> 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 this was actually my first design. That's so cool. This sold out, this sold really well, so I'm like, let me try another one. Uh -huh. People are saying, oh, do a suplex, and then this is the second design that I came out do with. Do suplexing session come up in, in high school wrestling? Sometimes. 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 It's rare yeah, though, it's right? Rare because you don't really get points for it. In freestyle wrestling, you would, but in, in high school wrestling, so there's different, three, three different kind of wrestling. Styles. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's what's the difference between? So high school wrestling in the United States.